If you've ever wondered what life was like on a farm, you can get the true sense of it by planning an agricultural adventure. The Michigan Agritourism Association has just released its 2023 directory to help people experience and learn more about Michigan Farm Fun. And joining us right now to talk more about it is Lori Schreiber from Michigan Agritourism. Lori, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. So tell us about what we can find in one of these directories. How many farms are listed? There are a ton of farms. Um, so here's the directory that just came out. And um, so, you know, we have farms across the state, all over the place that the, the, the ones that are open to the public have so many different things to do. Every time you step onto a farm, you really get to connected with the farmer, where things are grown, um, really get connected back down to the earth. And you can go farm after farm and have a new experience. And each year they're adding tons and tons of new experiences that are just amazing, cool. I mean, there's something for everybody. So what are some of the events that people can choose from when they look through the directory? Well, they have, um, you know, there's goat yoga has become pretty popular. So you do yoga with the goats. Um, this farm behind me has a 16 Sprigs Lavender Farm and they do lavender yoga and there's also you know there's the traditional things like the corn mazes and the pumpkin patches the cider and donuts but there's also really cool things like dining at the farm farm stays and the thing that i really think is awesome is they have tons of educational experiences for the kids and i think it's really great to have our children learning about the farm and where our food comes from they have opportunities for children to um, feed animals out of bottles and go to camps and really do almost everything you can think of you can do on the farm. Wow, that's a lot to choose from. Are there different categories then and regions? Because this really incorporates all of Michigan, doesn't it? It does. And so the, um, the guide is broken up into uh, different regions in the state so that wherever you are, you can find out what farms are available and what activities are near you. Um, we also have an amazing website, michiganfarmfund.com. You can actually go in and search what kinds of activities you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So are you noticing that people are starting to visit more of these farms? Every year. Um, I think, you know, several years ago, the word agritourism, I don't think people really understand, stood it then, but now it's becoming more and more popular. Basically, you're taking agri agriculture and tourism. So if there's a farm that, that is open to the public for activities, that's agritourism. And every year we see a huge increase of people going to the farms and we see the farms adding more and more experiences, different things to do. And aside from all the experiences, you also have great farm fresh products that are grown on the farms that you can get right at the farms. So one more time, how can people get their hands on one of these directories? Well, um, we are sponsored by Farm Bureau, so you can go to any of your Farm Bureau offices to get those. They're also available at Welcome Centers, um, any of our member farms, and you can also go and get a digital copy at michiganfarmfund.com. That's and, and download a digital, digital copy that way as well. Okay, Lori, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.